I currently have a bit of a problem. This is our first Halloween in this new neighborhood, and I bought this entire bowl full of candy, and it turns out to be way too much. I've been doing what I can to get through it, but really I shouldn't be eating this much sugar anyways, so I've decided to take what's left and make some rocket fuel out of it. While I'm unwrapping and separating out the candy, let me give a quick explanation of how this is going to work. This candy is primarily sucrose, which is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen all bound together, and we're going to mix it in with some potassium nitrate. Now that nitrate is a very powerful oxidizer, so if we introduce some heat to it, it'll rapidly decompose in a redox reaction. From that reaction we'll get a few products. Most importantly, we're going to get a bunch of gases and a lot of heat. Now those hot expanding gases are going to be what gives us the propulsion we need to make any sort of rocket engine work. The ratio I'm going to be using is going to be about one-third sugar to two-thirds potassium nitrate by weight. Uh, it's a pretty simple, easy recipe. Uh, and to start out, I'm actually going to be using some of these candy corns because they have a bit of corn syrup in them. And that's just going to help everything melt together a bit easier and mix together a little better. We got about an ounce of these candy corns, so we're going to try to add about two more ounces of the rest of the crushed up candy. And that'll hopefully bring us to a total of three ounces total. And then we'll add in our potassium nitrate. Now, I know that inevitably somebody in the comments is going to give me flack for not using metric measurements, but for simple projects like this, it really doesn't matter what units you're using so long as you get the ratios right. So if you really want to be pedantic about it, you can let me know in the comments, but I just don't really think it's that important. Anyways, now that we got everything measured out, I'm just going to start melting everything together on the stove. We're going to leave it a really low setting, and we're going to start out with these candy corns so we have that uh, corn syrup for everything else to melt into. I really should have mixed everything together for, before adding it to the stove, uh, just to have everything melt together all at once. Um, I didn't, and it created all these uh, clumpiness problems, but I guess you live and learn. I added in a little bit of glycerin here just to help it pour better, and then we're just going to pour it right into this little paper rocket mold that I made here, and let it harden up. And then all the rest I'm just going to pour onto this piece of tin foil, and we can burn it at the very end. The very last thing I did with any of this was to add a small glob onto these zinc copper wires, and we can use this later as an igniter if we just overcurrent the wires. Moving on, I'm going to show you real quick how I made the casings for the motors. Uh, now the base part of it is just some printer paper that I rolled around a wooden dowel. And we're just going to set it here on my hydraulic press so we can make the nozzle now. The nozzle is just going to be made with this bentonite clay that you can get from the cheap clay cat litter. And we're just going to dump it into the form here and then we'll press it down with the hydraulic press. Once that's done, all we're going to have to do is add a hole to make it a nozzle, and that can just be done by using a drill bit in this. I used it just by hand and got a pretty decent nozzle here. Now this is the test of my first engine, and as you may have noticed, I didn't show me adding a cap on the back of it, so when I lit it, you can see that it just exhausted fumes out of both ends. Now that's not really a satisfying test, so I went back and made a new engine, and this time I made sure to cap the end opposite the nozzle, and we're going to give this one a test here. As I'm sure you can tell, that one went a lot better and actually burned the way it was supposed to. And now I thought I'd just burn the last bit of rocket candy, uh, but it didn't really go well. All the smoke just ended up blocking the camera, but I thought I'd leave it in here for you just to at least listen to, I guess. Anyways, I thought that would be a fun way to get rid of my leftover Halloween candy, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for stopping by, and please check out some of the other videos below.